Summer is winding down, and if you're anything like me, you really enjoyed your vacation. Did all those warm weather get-togethers cause you to relax or just completely abandon your diet and your fitness goals? How about those extra fruity drinks on the beach and mimosas with breakfast? Those can quickly sabotage your goals. The chips, the dips, the barbecues, and all the eating out that we enjoy during the summer months can add inches to our waist and cause us not to function with the same level of energy that we usually have. Maybe the heat or the lack of structure prevented you from getting your workouts in. And you know what happens next. The scales start to tip, our clothes get tight, and we instantly start to beat ourselves up. Well, stop beating yourself up. You are just like most of the population. Now it's time to clean things up and help get your fitness and your health back on track. I'm fitness expert Gretchen Coley and I work with busy people who desperately want to change their health but have no idea where to start. I show them how to eat more, exercise less, and turn getting healthy into an ultimate addiction. So thank you for taking the time to watch video one of the series that I created, How to Get Back on Track Fast After Vacation. You will be getting a video sent directly to your inbox every day for the next seven days. Now, I created this series because I know firsthand that most people struggle with this and it's really not as hard as you think it is to get back on track. I just returned from a long vacation in the African bush of all places. With the nearest town being over an hour away, you can imagine how hard it is to make your own healthy food choices. I found myself having to eat what was prepared for us. And their way of serving foods is actually quite different than what I'm accustomed to. So I ate less veggies, I ate more casseroles with sugar and fats, and I drank a lot less water than I needed because we were constantly on the go. On top of this vacation, I spent the last two months with my kids on summer break. I'm sure a lot of you know what that is like. We traveled and we spent a lot of time at the beach. So you can imagine that my routine was a little off. Well, okay, maybe a lot off. But um, listen to this. In a study by TripAdvisor, 29% of vacationers noted that they gained weight due to an abundance of food and beverage temptations. I don't think this study took into effect the toll that the summer with children out of school also has on us mothers. A third of the people surveyed said they planned to start a diet once they returned home. Well, you're just like the rest of us. The fact that the majority of travel, travelers surveyed said that they were more likely to overindulge while on vacation makes getting back on track this time of year a priority. I put together a quick, simple list of exactly what I do to get my nutrition and training back on track. And I guess you could say the entire structure of my life back on track and to do it fast. So number one is to hydrate water fixes everything it is a bit more difficult to get the amount of water you need when you're vacationing especially if you're flying because you become more dehydrated this is the one this one step alone will help you feel better and get your energy going it's going to help you control your calorie intake as thirst is often confused by the body as hunger and it's really not it will help you energize your muscles and it will get your skin glowing almost instantly. And my favorite part is that water will help flush the toxins from your kidneys and your bloodstream, getting you back on track and doing it fast. The next thing I like to do is sit down and make a list of goals. Think about the main reasons you have for wanting to lose weight and get healthy and just get back on track in general. Be super specific and post these somewhere where you'll see them every day, like on your bathroom mirror or on your refrigerator. This will help keep you on track all week, even when your motivation is waning. It's a fact that writing down your goals will increase your chance of staying committed to any program. Number three, we got to stop eating out for seven days. 
Studies show that when you eat out, especially at chain restaurants, the calorie content of the food that you eat can be three times the calories of the same dish if you made it at home. So every time you eat out, you're sabotaging your goals and it, it can make, take you much, much longer to get back on track. So if you want to do it fast, no eating out. Number four is establish a structured routine. Routines are a huge part of being healthy and they get all messed up when we're on summer break or on vacation. When you're traveling, you don't have access to the same things you do at home and that makes it much tougher to keep the structure of your meals and your workouts in line. I am always so excited on the trip home because I know I'm going to get back into the rhythm of my life and my health. To get the structure started, I immediately pull out my calendar and I start planning. I plan all my meals. It takes 10 minutes to plan your entire week's meals. And if you have a family, you can go ahead and plan for them too so you're killing two birds with one stone. Do it all at the same time and have it in one place. You will save so much time during the week. I plan all my family dinners and my family's meals for the week on one spreadsheet. I create my grocery list and I shop for everything I need for the entire week. Plan your workouts. I say this all the time, but most people do not do it. Write all your workout times down on your calendar. They're like appointment, uh, important appointments that you just don't want to miss. Number five is meal prep. So after I've planned and shopped, I start cooking. I go ahead and cook or prep everything I need for the week. So I'll cut the veggies up for my dinners, I'll get marinades going, so that either my meals are fully cooked and in containers ready for me to pull out of the refrigerator and cook, or they're already done for me so I'm not cooking every night. Number six is I only do super quick 30 minute um, or less HIIT workouts. Let's face it, when you're just getting back from vacation, you're playing catch up with all the obligations you have. You certainly don't have time to go spend hours in the gym. Do quick 30 minute workouts you can do right in your living room will save you time on both ends. So try a workout like the one in the comment section below. You'll be done in 30 minutes and you didn't even waste time driving to the gym. How great is that? Number seven is schedule to sleep 50 minutes extra per night. I know this sounds so difficult to do, but you can do it. Getting more sleep will help your body function better, your metabolism will be more efficient, and you'll have more energy and focus. So to get this done, just reverse engineer your schedule. Back up from the time that you need to wake up in the morning and add 50 minutes to the amount of time that you've been sleeping, and that is your bedtime. Get away from the TV, the computer, and the phone 30 minutes before bed. I promise if you do this just a few days, you will wake up feeling refreshed and absolutely ready to tackle the day. And number eight, and last but not least, is avoid the what the heck effect. I know it sounds crazy, but have you caught yourself saying this one before? It's funny, but it is a very well-documented phenomenon that occurs when you slip up on your diet and instead of accepting it and going back to healthy eating, you completely throw in the towel. It's when eating a cupcake turns into an entire cake and anything else you can find. You can see how this kind of mindset can be disastrous. If you violate your diet rules, don't say what the heck and take the whole day off or worse yet, justify it to just start again on Monday. Acknowledge what just happened and make your next bite or your next meal a good one. When the best intentions for staying healthy on vacation or over summer break leave you feeling like a complete failure, put these eight tips into action and you'll be feeling like yourself again in just six days. Stay with me for the next seven days and I'll show you every step I'm going to take to get back on track. All the workouts and all the food Six days from now, you'll have, you will have lost weight, you'll have more energy, and you'll be, have no bloating and no inflammation in your body. The videos will arrive every day for the next six days. I filmed some awesome six-minute workouts for you that you can do in your living room, so be on the lookout for those. I love hearing from you, so let me know what steps you're taking by commenting below this video. I'll also be posting 
all of the food I'm eating and the tidbits on my Instagram account. So link up with me on Instagram to see everything I'm eating and all of the other secrets that I'm only giving out on Instagram. You can reach me at Gretchen Coley on Instagram. And last but not least, I'm sure you know some other girls who are feeling exactly the same way you are. Share this free series with them. I promise they will thank you for it. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.